What is it? What is it? I can't understand you. Speak human. There's nothing outside. <laughs> That's pretty much where the idea came from, to build a device to translate my dog's barks into human speech. I know I've said it before, but this is the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> So here's what we need. We need a tiny dog, one that barks a lot. The dog's gonna have to wear a little collar with a microphone that can listen to his barks. The barks get processed through a device that has a whole bunch of code and stuff on it. And then that device decides what the dog's saying and outputs it through the speakers. Easy, right? <laughs> so we started this journey on Twitch where in front of a live audience, we learned every possible way how to not make a translation device for your dog. And after weeks of working on this, we finally started making progress. We had a device that could listen to a dog's barks, execute a little logic, and then play a canned recording. Let me explain how the logic works. First off, everything had to fit on a Raspberry Pi Zero. The logic is actually completely modular. In the code, you can take what I wrote and completely rip it out and replace it with your own if you want to. We tried so many different things to get this to work. The biggest waste of time with us was trying to do fast Fourier transforms on these dog barks, which would work if dog barks were a beautiful, pure tone, but they're not. The frequencies that are inherent in dog barks make FFTs insanely noisy, and the data was not possible to process in real time. We ended up settling for a simple time-based logic. If it's in the morning, then we expect Nugget to be barking because he has to go pee. If it's in the middle of the day and we expect the mailman to be coming by, then he's probably barking at that. So we slice up the times of day into different categories and put the pre-recorded voices in each one of those. Now we just need someone to voice nugget. This is our friend Casey. We texted Casey about voicing Nugget and she said yes immediately. And I have no idea why, but Casey, you are a saint. So Casey came over one day and reeled off a ton of one-liners in the voice of Nugget. Yo, wake the fuck up, I gotta pee. Hold me, humans. Am I being starved? Is this what the people call a diet? Damn, we never have company. Hope y'all know it's dirty in here. <laughs> And then it got even funnier when she got a hold of a helium balloon. <laughs> Do we have scissors? Shredder! Nuts! So we got the device, the recordings, the software, and the nugget. All we need now is a collar that everything can fit inside. So we took nugget shopping. We found the perfect collar to fit everything in. And when we got home, I assembled everything. And so now it is the moment of truth. Nugget gave the collar a quick test run. And when I turned it on, it actually works. I think Nugget needs to watch his language. So now we're gonna take it out into the real world and test it for real. But the one time we want Nugget to misbehave, the one time we want him to bark like crazy in public, he is quiet as a mouse. I mean, he still misbehaves, just not the way we were expecting. So since that big reveal didn't work, here's a different one. <laughs> It's amazing. Billy Mays here with Holler Collar. Have you ever had a dog that doesn't speak a human language? Well, Holler Collar tells him what his barks mean without the damaging effects of bleach. Watch how Holler Collar unleashes the power of blockchain on quantum computers. For collars that don't fall off, Holler Collar is a must as it securely attaches to your pupper. That's right, if you save one pair of jeans, Holler Collar has paid for itself. And remember, dogs don't bark, they Holler Collar. We talk good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fing lightheaded. <laughs> if you or someone you love ingested too much helium in the filming of a video that probably not that many people watched, please seek the law offices of Casey for your settlement. <laughs> <laughs>